The situation between the United States and China has reached a precarious precipice, teetering on the edge of catastrophic conflict. With each passing day, the prospect of these two colossal powers clashing becomes more inevitable. Diplomatic endeavors have hit a wall, proving fruitless against the tides of escalating tensions. As China gears up to confront its most formidable adversary, it is channeling unprecedented resources into a new echelon of war machinery one that is still in its embryonic phase drone-based aircraft carriers. Historically, the 20th century showcased the transformative power of military aircraft, which rapidly became integral to modern warfare, ingrained within the frameworks of the Army, Navy, and Air Forces globally. The advent of aircraft carriers revolutionized how nations projected power, giving birth to entire fleets designed around these airborne capabilities. Fast forward to today, and history appears to be cycling through a familiar chapter this time with the ascent of drones. These unmanned combatants have taken center stage in recent fierce conflicts, prompting a new doctrine in military strategy where fleets of unmanned drones supersede manned aircraft carriers. Drone carriers, much like their predecessors, promise to upend the status quo. Emerging as the next revolutionary platform, they could render traditional aircraft carriers antiquated. This innovation represents a direct challenge to American naval supremacy, which has long depended on a sprawling network of conventional aircraft carriers. The concern deepens for the US. When considering that China, its perennial strategic rival, is leading the charge in drone carrier development. Just three months ago, China made headlines by unveiling the world's first dedicated drone carrier. While it is smaller and more compact than traditional aircraft carriers, it aligns perfectly with the scaled-down nature of drones, making it a symbiotic match. This reduction in size translates to reduced operational costs and increased maneuverability compared to the behemoth aircraft carriers of old. However, this does not mean that traditional carriers have become obsolete. Each platform, whether conventional or drone-based, brings its own set of strengths and limitations. In an October 2023 publication by the UK Defence Journal, national security expert Alexander Gates highlighted that drone carriers possess similar power projection capabilities as their conventional counterparts, enabling states to carry out extended unmanned aerial missions far from their borders. This is not only a strategic advantage but also a cost-effective one. Drones mitigate the risks to human life and prove cheaper to build and maintain, opening up high-end military capabilities to both middle-income and high-income nations. However, drones still lack the lethality of manned aircraft, implying that drone carriers might not achieve the same dominance as their conventional counterparts. Nevertheless, they don't need to strength often lies in numbers. Drones can be deployed in swarms, making their sheer quantity a potent factor in warfare, where numerical superiority can turn the tide. To counteract this, the United States is not resting on its laurels. It is actively enhancing its arsenal with cutting-edge technologies designed to neutralize the drone threat. Enter the laser weapon the High Energy Laser with Optical Dazzler and Surveillance Helios. Developed by industry titan Lockheed Martin, Helios represents one of the most advanced laser systems in the US. Inventory, leveraging four decades of experience in laser weapon technology. Initiated with a $150 million contract in 2018, Helios was ready for field trials by 2022 and was subsequently installed on the Burke-class destroyer USS Preble, replacing its 20mm Vulcan cannon. From its vantage point on the USS Preble, Helios boasts the capability to eliminate targets up to five miles away, focusing primarily on drones and small boats that can pose significant threats when deployed in swarms. Up until now, the US military has had to rely on million-dollar missiles to neutralize these low-cost threats, sometimes priced as low as a few thousand dollars. Helios alters this cost imbalance dramatically, offering a firing cost comparable to a cup of coffee. This economic efficiency, paired with its ability to obliterate targets at the speed of light 186,000 miles per second leaves adversaries with virtually no time to evade destruction. Beyond its offensive capabilities, Helios doubles as a dazzling shield to blind enemy sensors and disrupt missile guidance, and triples as a powerful long-range reconnaissance tool integrated into the Aegis combat system, the US. Navy's premier surface warfare system. Such a multifaceted capability significantly enhances the survivability of American warships, including future flagship carriers like the USS Gerald Ford. 
losing the USS Gerald Ford, the US. Navy's most advanced aircraft carrier would be more than a tactical defeat, it would be a monumental catastrophe. At a staggering cost of $13 billion and hosting a population of 4,500 personnel, losing this floating city would be akin to losing an entire small metropolis complete with its billion-dollar array of aircraft and, most distressingly, the lives of thousands on board. Therefore, such assets must be defended by the most robust systems that technology can provide, such as Helios. The USS Gerald Ford is not just a warship, it is a technological marvel powered by two Beel, a one billion nuclear reactors, heralded as the pinnacle of naval propulsion. With these reactors, the carrier requires refueling only once every 50 years, allowing it to sail at speeds of up to 30 knots, enabling rapid global deployment such as during the Israel-Gaza conflict. This nuclear prowess is complemented by a massive air wing, which houses up to 75 aircraft at any given time, ranging from the versatile E-2 Hawkeye to the F-A-18 Super Hornet, and the unparalleled F-35 Lightning I, I the crown jewel of US military aviation. The F-35's development cost of $400 billion makes it the Pentagon's most expensive weapon project, yet its versatility from close air support to vertical takeoff cements its status as the military's all-purpose fighter. In addition to manned aircraft, the USS Ford is also poised to deploy drones, reflecting its adaptability to host a diverse range of airframes. Central to this flexibility are the advanced launch and arrest systems on board electromagnetic catapults that launch both manned and unmanned aircraft swiftly, while sophisticated arresting gear ensures safe recoveries. Compared to older, steam-powered systems, these newer mechanisms allow for more sorties with fewer failures, giving the Ford-class carriers a decisive advantage in rapid response scenarios. For China, such advancements are cause for concern. As tensions between these two global titans continue to simmer, territorial disputes are the primary catalyst, each side prepared to go to great lengths to defend its interests. Should diplomacy fail to cool these hostilities, the world might witness a conflict of unprecedented scale one that could reshape the global order as we know it, unleashing devastation that would become the new norm. The onus is on global citizens. China and the United States need you to like this video and subscribe to this channel Do This Now to save the world thanks for watching.